It's Big Ten Media Day. I'm here with Luke Garza. Look, you rocked the 55 jersey for Iowa? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, big, solid center out of Murray of all places in D.C. Uh, Chucky Grizzell was his head coach. Did Chuck ever tell you the story about uh, Michael Jordan blocking his shot? One day, one of the first film sessions with him uh, as our coach, you know, he brought us in all for film, so we thought we were going to watch, you know, some game or something like that. And he showed the clip where, you know, he, he got in there and Michael Jordan blocked his shot. So that was, you know, that was hilarious. Uh, Michael Jordan came out of nowhere. <laughs> he was that close to being world famous. He would have been, yeah, a game winner on, in Chapel Hill. But no, it, Mike, Michael Jordan didn't yeah. like that. <laughs> so you come from downtown D.C. and you moved to Iowa City. Uh, I've made that trip, but I didn't get to live there. What's the difference, if you could even describe it, between being in D.C. and then being in Iowa? Yeah, I mean, it's a huge difference. You know, it's kind of funny. My first visit to Iowa, I, I kind of got off the plane. And I didn't see any buildings, and I was like, where am I? But, you know, once you get down to Iowa City, you know, it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful little, little you know, college town, and I love it. And, you know, it's just different than a city, but, you know, different in a, in a great way. You know, it's just, it's, it's amazing for my life to be able to experience, you know, different kind of living situations, you know, as I grew up, you know, um, just, you know, coming from California where I first grew up to, you know, rest in Herndon, Virginia, to moving to D.C., and then now, you know, in Iowa, just, you know, kind of moving all around. So I, I just, you know, I've loved Iowa, you know, my three years here, and, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to, you know, finishing my career here. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301 251 2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Absolutely. The way the campus is built around the river, mm -hmm. it's just, it's, it's yeah. it looks like what a college looks like in a movie. A hundred percent. You know, that's the thing I saw on my visit. I was like, wow, this is, you know, walking through the Pentecrest, you know, it's like, this is what I, you know, saw in all those movies, you know, about colleges. And, uh, you know, it just, you know, I've loved it since I, you know, the first visit. And, uh, you know, I mean, just really blessed to be in this position. Uh, take it, you go to a lot of the football games? Yes, I do. You know, we, we try to get to as many as we can. I've been to two so far this year. I missed the first weekend. Uh, I almost even went up to Ames to watch the Iowa State game, but, you know, the rain was bad. And, and yeah, so I, I didn't do that. But, you know, I'm, uh, we have a really good team this year, and those football games go, they, they're really wild. And, you know, all the tailgating and, you know, a lot of that's right up by our house. So, you know, when we walk to practice and, and different stuff like that, you know, you go through the tailgates and take pictures. And it's just, you know, it's just uh, a lovely fan base. Oh, the fan base is just fantastic. I got to go see Maryland at Iowa last year. Mm -hmm. uh, the best part of the video, other than the kids waving to the hospital, the people waving to the kids to the hospital, mm -hmm. is listening to what I guess is the alma mater, the band plays in the tunnel. Yeah. Before the game's enough to bring tears to your eyes. Yeah. It was like going to Wrigley Field to see a football game. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's... It's tremendous. That that game time environment is, you know, something I've never really seen before, you know, in, especially in football. You know, I grew up watching a little bit of football, but I was never that huge of a fan, you know, until I got here and I got to experience, you know, what a game day is like in Iowa. Excellent. So, you've been around the Big Ten a couple of times. Other than playing at Carver Hawkeye, what are your favorite places to play in the Big Ten? You know, I, I have a few. You know, I, I definitely, I've only played, uh, you know, at Michigan State once, but, you know, that environment is, you know, second and none you know, I really enjoy that and uh, but my my favorite would definitely be Maryland just because it's my home you know kind of close to my home and all my family can come and all my friends can come so that just makes it you know uh, that makes it special for me um, just being able to see my mom and my dad you know, my dad's at every game but I don't get to see my mom too much so being able to see them and you know all the rest of my family is just you know it's huge for me um, but you know I love playing in you know just a lot of the arenas you know I like Nebraska you know Purdue is 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 tremendous you know, uh, so I, I just, you know, there's, those are, you know, I, I pretty much love every road trip we go on. Do you think that moving the three-point line is going to give you more opportunity around the hoop? I, I think it definitely spreads the court a little bit more, and, uh, you know, I, I think um, it just definitely gives, you know, less chances to double team and stuff like that because you have to travel such a, a little bit longer way. You know, even though it's a little bit different, it still makes a little bit of a difference, so. 
Um, you know, I'm excited to see what it does. But you know, I think, especially with our team and our guys who three, shoot threes as well as me, you know, I, I just we've been working on it all summer, and it's like it's like there's been no change to be honest. Just you know, we shoot the ball the same way. Um, you just got to back up a little bit more. The, the corner. The corner is probably the hardest part about it, especially for me with size 18 shoes. You know, I really got to be careful not to get on the line or get out of bounds, you know, trying to hit a three from the corner. Uh, in closing, give me the top two or three things that makes Iowa basketball special to you. I think just our team connected this on both ends, you know, offensively, how we move the ball and how we run in transition is just, you know, um, you know, it's, it's just, you know, we play that type of brand. That's our brand of basketball is we run and we put, put teams in, you know, a difficult position when they're getting back on defense. You know, we're already setting up, going into, you know, post-ups. You know, they can't really double in transition because, you know, um, you don't have time to double. So I, I think that's just what makes us unique. And I think we're just, you know, a blue-collar school, you know, in, in general. But our guys are just really tough, hard-nosed, hard workers who, you know, we see the film, you know, we work on what we got to work on and we get better. And I think just with, you know, having coaches are, you know, floor leader, uh, you know, out there just, you know, riling us all up, getting us all, you know, pumped up to play and, and motivated to, you know, succeed. I think that's just what makes us special. Thanks for being on Turk Talk. No problem. Thank you.